Hey basketball players, today I'm going to give you some explosive vertical jump training that is great for all ages. So let's get down to it. Now really quickly, if you like what you see in today's video, make sure to go check out my vertical jump training book down in the description below. That's really going to help you gain a lot of vertical when it comes to basketball. Now, vertical jump training is just basically training to jump higher. But why does it work? Because it's going to really work on your muscles. How muscles work is because, let's say when you start working out and you start doing weights or whatever else, your muscles are going to tear just a bit. And then they try to heal themselves stronger. That's why your muscles get bigger. Now, when you do vertical jump training, just like any kind of workout, make sure that you have a day off in between each workout. You don't wanna do them in consecutive days. Now, with vertical jump training or this explosive vertical jump training that I'm gonna to talk to you about today, I'm gonna to be showing you with a basketball. And if you're a bit younger, you're gonna be wanting something like a basketball, maybe a one pound weight at most. And this first one is called deadlifts. So in a deadlift, you're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to bend, have your knees slightly bent and you're gonna be keeping your shoulders back. You're gonna be going down and back up just like this. You don't wanna have your knees or your shoulders go beyond your toes. You wanna to be bending or lifting with your hips. This is going to allow you to be able to explode higher. This works a lot on that lower back, and when you're working on that lower back, that is a major muscle, what I call a momentum muscle, to jump higher so that now you can dunk, get more rebounds, shoot from farther away. All of those things are really affected by jump training. The next exercise that I'm gonna to talk to you about is called squat jumps. Now, when you're younger, you would wanna do just regular squats and then progress into squat jumps and then into box jumps. These are all explosive techniques. So, what we're gonna be working on if you're six, seven, eight, nine years old is just a regular squat. You're going to go down, have your knees behind your toes, have your shoulders behind your toes. You don't wanna create any injuries and then you're gonna lift your body back up. You wanna be back on your heels. Now, once you've got that form perfected, perfected, I should say, then obviously you wanna be with your parent, your trainer, your, your older brother who knows how to do these things. You don't wanna do this out of nowhere if you're eight years old. You wanna have somebody who can see your form because you can cause a lot of injuries if you don't do the forms correctly. Next is the squat jump. You wanna do the exact same squat as what we just did, except you wanna jump up from the squat. This is a great exercise that you can do. Again, not having your shoulders or your knees past your toes. You wanna to have them behind your toes because you don't wanna be creating any injuries because that would be bad. Now with a box jump, it would be the exact same as a squat jump. However, you're jumping slightly forward and you're landing on a box. You can buy a, a jump box online on Amazon. You can get them in a ton of different places. You can even make your own. Just make sure you have your parents make it. And then from there, you can jump up onto the box from that jump squat. Now when you land on the box, you wanna land on your toes. Now this is not just working your legs, your upper leg. This is also working your calf muscle because you're landing on your toes on top of that box. Next is a lunge jump and a lunge. Now again, when you're younger, you wanna start with a lunge. A lunge is when you take a big step forward. You wanna keep this knee behind that toe or else you could be creating injuries for yourself. Then you're going to go down that back knee should only be one to two inches off the ground. You do not wanna have it touch the ground because that can cause injuries when it comes to joints. And then that is a regular lunge. Now with a lunge jump, what you wanna do is take that big step forward, still have that knee behind that toe, go down into a lunge looking forward, and then you wanna jump up and land with your feet shoulder width apart. And then you can add on to this and combine a few things together. So you can go into that lunge, go down into a lunge or into a squat jump, and then you can continue that. But make sure you start at the basics and then you can explode into the jumps. Now I stress to have a partner, either an older sibling 
or a friend or even a parent or a trainer with you before you do these exercises, especially if you're younger, because you want to have these forms down because you don't want to be injured with doing these exercises if you're doing it incorrectly. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go check out that vertical jump training book down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.